welcome back to Paint and Create class. Today we are going to be using some mini canvases and we're going to do a painting using masking tape and acrylics. If you haven't got any canvas at home, don't worry, you can just use cardboard and this can be, you can use cereal box cardboard, um, anything that's got a bit of weight to it. So don't feel like you can't do this if you haven't got any canvas. Okay, so the first things you'll need are acrylics or poster paint, um, a jug of water, some sponges, some brushes. Um, we're using sort of empty lids for um, palettes. Um, the brushes I'm using are quite thick for this one, so you won't need any detailed brushes for this. Um, so yeah, nice thick brushes would be great. Okay, um, and yeah, make sure you've covered your table and you're wearing things that don't matter, getting a bit painty. Okay, right then, we shall begin. Okay, so first things first, you're going to um, choose some colours. Now, what I would do is just choose three colours that you really love. Think about um, using some bright colours because this is going to form the background of your painting. Okay, so we've all got different colours that we've chosen. I've chosen a sort of green and, and then pink. Eliane's chosen, what have you chosen? Blue, red and yellow. And I've got um, light blue, pink and purple. And what you're going to do is you're going to cover your whole canvas in kind of areas of colour. So with my one, I'm just going to start by painting one corner bright pink. And in between each colour, I'm going to wash my brush. OK, so you might want a bit of kitchen roll to dab this on with. Um, so you're basically going to cover the whole of your canvas with splodges of different colours, remembering to wash your brush in between each colour. Right, we are going to do the next bit in speedy mode. So we have left our paintings to dry overnight and uh, so they're all perfectly dry. We've done our own different patterns that we want to do. Mine's a galaxy. Mine, I wanted to do it a bit like scales, so multicoloured scales. It's really lovely and mine's just a kind of swirly pattern with three different colours. So this is the exciting bit. Now, if you've got masking tape, or any kind of tape that's easy to peel off at home, what I want you to do is tear up some strips and you can choose either you do strips across like this, across your masking, across your um, painting, or like I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out some shapes um, using some scissors and stick those on top of my painting. So I've cut out a leaf shape like this and I'm going to stick it on to my canvas and I'm going to find an interesting bit to stick it over. And I'm going to do that to the rest of my painting now with lots of different leaf shapes. But you can choose different shapes. If you want to just do lines, you can do. Yeah. I'm going to do the leaves. I'm just going to do stripes like this and then stick it all down. Makes... Oh no. <laughs> Make sure it's really properly stuck down so that the paint doesn't... What are you going to do? You're going to do your diagonal. I'm just kind of doing like random strips of masking tape just to have like a kind of um, mishmash of lines. Like, looks like it's entangled together. Yeah. Oh. Right, two lines down. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Mm, sort 
it for me in different patterns. Silver or something like metallic color would look cool. Or black. You could yeah. do it black. Or black. Yeah, you need a really strong color, whatever yeah. you're gonna do. Okay, so we stuck all of our masking tape on and we are going to use some gold paint and, and black paint. Using black paint. And we're going to paint it like all over here and here and here and here and here. So that when we peel it all off, it leaves a really cool pattern behind. Okay, so once you have painted your, your canvas, leave this now to dry because we want to get really crisp edges when we peel it off. So it will probably be need to be left for a couple of hours. So we've finished painting them and they are completely dry. And now we are going to take off the masking tape. Really beautiful. It's like shiny. Well done, Eve. Okay, right. now Eliana's. Okay. So I've got some little leaves on mine, so mine should be a bit easier to take off. Yeah. Pop. Ooh, that looks cool. Pop. Whoa, that's like so bright now, isn't it? It is. So the colour underneath is really popping out. I mean, it's the same as before, but it looks brighter now. It does. For some reason. Somehow it does look brighter, you're right. Gold is a really nice contrasting colour. So yeah. when you're doing this at home, choose a really good contrasting colour to whatever you've got. Also, if you have the colours like this, try and get as many as the different colours that you have in one area. Yeah, so that, I agree. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Okay, so there we go. So look, these are all of our finished pieces of artwork. Really good. Well done, everyone. We hope that you've enjoyed doing this yourself. And if you do any at home, don't forget to send us your images.